Hey, welcome to the first coding tutorial for our list adapter demo. So in the previous example, I gave you a preview of what we're going to build. Now let's get started. So I'm going to start a new Android project and I'm going to call this people list. And this will show you the custom list of all your friends. So let's go through these options here and empty activity and choose next on each of them. All right, it looks like my application's running. I've got the usual startup screens. I've got the activity main and main activity.java. So let's start with the working on the graphics. So if you were to look into my browser, you would find that I searched for a collection of icons for people. And I found something at free, uh, free icons or something. And all I did was uh, isolate each one of these. I cut them up into squares that were all equal size. I used Photoshop and slicing and if you'd like, I could provide you with a list of icons that I've created. So if you look here, I have a folder on my desktop called Icons, and let's see what's inside there. So I've already cut these things up and named them. They all have a same name uh, function. They have icon one and then an underscore with a number. So we'll just use these. Okay, so I've got these selected. I'm gonna copy these guys. So let's do a right click and copy 30 items. Come over to the drawable folder and right click and paste. And now it says we've got ourselves which directory. I'm going to just choose the default. And it says, are you sure you want to copy to here? And click OK. And now we should see all of the imported graphics. So we're ready to go. Now it's time to set up the main screen here. So let's go back to the design. And we're going to put in three buttons. And then we're going to put in a list. So there's button one, button two, and button three. So let's try this out. We'll do, we'll do constrain to the top edge and constrain to the left edge. For the third button, that's also not too hard. We'll constrain to the top, constrain to the right. Now for this third guy in the middle, he's going to constrain to the front and the back of the adjacent buttons and to the top. So they should kind of uh, evenly space now. Let's give our buttons some text and some names. So let's call it button sort ABC. And this one is going to be button sort age, BTN sort age, let's call it. Now for this one, let's call it BTN add. All right, so now I need a list view. So let's go back into the legacy section and I'm going to drag out the list view. So just a reminder, if you want to be more modern, there's a more common uh, view list. It's called recycler view and it's more efficient, it runs faster on your apps, but as I recommend, this list view is actually simpler, it has fewer options, and might be easier for us to learn from. So I'm going to stick with list view for now. So I'm going to constrain this as well. So constrain this to the top of the button, to the bottom of the button I should say. Let's constrain to the left, and constrain to the right. Okay, let's check the text to see if I did everything like I wanted it to. So this is constraint end to the end, parent, bottom of the button. So I'm going to change the text for the buttons to A, B, C, and one, two, three. And then here, this is going to be called add. One more constraint that I forgot. Let's take this and constrain it to the bottom. I think we're ready to go on. So this is the design view of what the people list will look like. Next, we'll go in and create some of these other customized classes and some of the adapters.